greetings fellow mathematicians. Let's solve another second order ODE with constant coefficients with initial conditions. So as always, start with the ODE. And we assume solutions of the form y equals e to the rx. Calculate the first and second derivatives with the chain rule giving you factors of r. We always know each term contains e to the rx, so we can kind of leave that off since we're going to factor it out anyway. And if we plug this in, we get as our characteristic equation r squared minus 4r plus 4 equals 0. All right, this one, again, we're going to ideally try to factor it. And it looks like we can factor this as r minus 2 times r minus 2. So what we have here is a repeated factor. We have the same factor twice. That gives us a repeated solution. And here we get one real solution, 2, which is repeated. Now from a previous video, we know the solution in this case. We do get an exponential function for that value of r. So we get a e to the 2x. But for our second linearly independent solution, we have an additional factor of x times the exponential function. So the rest of the solution looks like c2 times x times e to the 2x. All that's left for us to do is to make use of the initial conditions here. Let's go ahead and use the function initial condition. So y of 0 equals negative 1. We're going to plug in x as 0. and y as negative 1. And what's nice about this case of a repeated real solution, when x is 0, notice that factor of x just kills off that whole term. So if we plug this in, we get a really simple equation. y becomes negative 1. And it looks like what we're left with, since x is 0, um, we're just getting e to the 0. So we're just left with c1 on that right side. And that's it. That tells us that c1 equals negative 1. Now notice, unlike two real solutions, we do not get a system of equations here, but there's still a little bit of work. Notice, in order for us to make use of the derivative initial condition, we have to calculate the first derivative. This term is going to require the product and chain rules to differentiate that. That's where the work lies for this type of uh, solution. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to calculate using the product and chain rules when we differentiate this term. So differentiate the first term here. That only requires the chain rule. So the chain rule is going to give us a factor of 2. And when we apply the product rule, let's think of this as c2x times e to the 2x. So from the product rule, we'll call c2x the f and the e to the 2x the g, if you remember the product rule in terms of f and g. So let's go ahead and calculate that. I always take my time. So differentiate the first term. That's going to leave me with c2 times e to the 2x. And then we add to that, keeping the first function the same. So c2x. And now we differentiate the second function. That's where the chain rule comes in. That'll give us 2 e to the 2x. All right, a good habit to get into is to try to simplify your solution before proceeding. And it looks like we do have some like terms. 
we have our pure exponential terms here. And we're going to basically factor out e to the 2x. So I can write this as 2c1 plus c2. And again, we factored out e to the 2x. And then we have this term left over at the end, c2 times 2 e to the 2x. You can clean that up if you want, but notice when you plug in x is 0, that whole term is just going to get killed off anyway. So now, if we use our derivative initial condition, so y prime of 0 equals 3, we're plugging in x is 0, and then y prime as 3, and with x is 0, again, this whole term right here, that goes away. So if we plug in, y prime on the left is 3. And the exponential term here, we again get an e to the 0. So we're just left with 2c1 plus c2. And notice we already know the value for c1. So if we plug that in, we have the simple equation 3. And again, we're going to replace c1 with the value that we found, negative 1. So that'll turn to negative 2 plus c2. And it looks like we can easily solve that. We should get there. That c2 comes out to 5. So if we were to write down our solution, we'll cram it in at the top here. We're basically just replacing C1 and C2 in the solution, general solution that we found before. And it looks like what we get is C1. We have that as negative 1. And we found C2 as 5. So we get as our second part here, plus 5x e to the 2x. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe.